Imagine you had your own AI assistant that could answer questions about your business using your own documents and data. Today, I'm going to show you how to build one in a few minutes using no code with tools such as NAN, Pinecone, and any AI tool of your choice. And the best part, you can use this for your customer support, sales, or even internal training. So let's get into it. First, let's talk about RAG, Retrieval Augmented Generation. So here's the simple breakdown. Step one, a user asks a query, and then your AI searches your database for the correct answer. Step two, it then feeds this information back into the response so that it answers the question directly from your company's documents. This means that the AI agent isn't guessing, it's grounded in your company's knowledge base. To make this work, you'll need a couple of tools. The first one is NAN, which is used for building the workflow. Second, we'll need a vector database. I'm going to use Pinecone to store my company's most frequently asked questions. And finally, your choice of AI model. I'm going to use Gemini in this example. So before we even get started, let's look at what I've set up. I have a Google Drive here with a knowledge base full of the company's FAQs. You'll see here I've got information for the ordering, payments, shipping, delivery, returns and refunds, and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. This is stored in my Google Drive, which will then be directly uploaded into Pinecone, which is my vector database. So you'll be able to see that my vector database has already been set up with an index. When we click into here, you can see that the frequently asked questions has already been uploaded into Pinecone. Now I'll just quickly run you through the NAN workflow that does this. So let's go through this one by one. In order to upload the frequently asked questions, I'm going to initiate this workflow when I click execute workflow. I then have a node which is a Google Drive node. This will download the frequently asked questions from the knowledge base frequently asked folder. After I've downloaded the frequently asked question, we go and upload it directly into the Pinecone vector store. Here I'm inserting the documents into my RAG database. You'll see here that I'm using the Google Gemini embeddings model as well as the default data loader. So all that I'm doing here is loading all of the data. As well as that, I'm using the token splitter, which just shows the chunk size and the chunk overlap. So when I execute this workflow, you'll see that it's successfully downloaded the frequently asked question and uploaded it into my RAG database. There you go, there's the second entry now. But since we don't need this for this example, let's just delete it. Awesome, now let's go back to our AI agent. All right, let's go through our next workflow. So this is where the real magic happens. As a user, I'm able to ask questions to the AI agent and get answers that have been grounded from the knowledge articles. First thing that we do is add a chat node. This just allows the user to interact with our AI agent. We then have added a customer service agent. So pretty much that they are a customer support agent and that they have access to the customer's most frequently asked questions. For this example, I'm going to use OpenAI and I've just chosen GPT 4.1 Mini. Always add a Windows buffer memory. This allows the AI agent to remember past chat messages from the user. And finally, we have to add the tool answer questions with a vector data store. So here we've just added the data name, which is the company data information, as well as the description of the data. So it's essentially just the knowledge base. So attached to our tool, we're going to use OpenAI's GPT 4.1 mini. Attached to that is going to be the vector store, which is our pinecone vector. And you've seen that earlier on in the video. Again, we're listing the RAG database. This is where our frequently asked questions are stored. And we're going to use the Google Gemini embeddings model. So let's give this a go. As a user, I'm going to ask, what is your shipping policy? And we'll see that the customer service agent is thinking and now has accessed our vector store tool, gone to the Pinecone vector database, retrieved the answer, and then responded, according to our shipping policy, we offer standard and express shipping. Let's try another one. What is your returns policy? Again, you'll see the customer service agent is thinking, accessing the Pinecone database, gets the answer, is now writing the response. Our returns policy offers a 30 day satisfaction guarantee. You can return your purchase within 30 days of delivery. So now that you've seen it in action, think of all the possibilities. You can plug this AI agent into anywhere. So for example, customer support to provide instant accurate answers, 
internal training to upskill your employees on the company's policies, sales enablement, your reps can pull case studies or product specs mid-call. And that's it, your very own AI assistant that knows your business better than you do. I've linked my exact NAN workflow files in the description so that you can copy and customize them. If this video saved you hours of trial and error, give this video a like. And don't forget to subscribe. I drop new NAN videos every week.